So this is where the incident took place, as a master vault of the Lehman Reserve Bank. 100 million quid in cash went missing from inside here. I say, it's enormous. That's not a vault, that's a room. It was discovered missing early this morning. Look. It looks like a classic case of grand larceny. Sorry, so we've got the cat, the crook who did it and get the dough back as quickly as possible, cat. You say people from Scotland Yard are already investigating the vault, Inspector? Have you found any ev evidence that might suggest you did this? You know, I just remembered something, because... Oh, hello, Nix, you're, you're here already. I was trying to be quiet so you wouldn't, you know, wake up and... Oh, well, whatever. Because I was saying, I do actually what... Not what, but I have read Detective... Sorry, Nix, not a mic. Detective Conan. You know, the manga about a... Sorry, about a teenager who ends up becoming a... Don't, Nix. Who ends up becoming a teenager... Oh, not a teenager, a teenager who becomes a kid after taking a drug, and he goes around solving mysteries. One of those mysteries that I recall was about a almost a nine solved case of thief or robbery about on a bank, and then brought me the attention that apparently even if you even if you do steal from a bank, there's a very good chance that you won't be able to use said money. Cause I think it's something like the money is marked or something like that, and you have to wait a certain period of time. Again, I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm skimming through it. I have no idea if this is even actually correct. But that's what I remember. So there's a chance these guys aren't even gonna be able to use his money. Unless they have a Nix don't. Unless they have a way of not laundering, but a way of getting it through international borders or somewhere else to use it, I don't know. Not a flaming sausage. It would have been uh, taking a proto crack this safe, that's for sure. But even pros leave a trail usually. Well, not this time. Hmm. That is strange. I need to ask some questions. Just before you do, love. Yes, Mrs. Lewins? I think I'd like to see this great mind of yours in action first. Let's see if you can solve this brain teaser. It's not that I doubt your abilities, don't worry. I've heard nothing but good things about you. But I never deal with anyone until I've seen them roll up their sleeves get their hands dirty with, the, with my own eyes. I mean, that is somewhat valid, after all, you can be all talk, but... Uh, somebody, you can be all talk, but when you, if you can't actually... Well, how was the saying? You can talk the talk, but you also need to walk the walk or something like that? Yeah, let's see. Now the... Now, what was the password of the save? It's six letters long and uses the letter A, B, and C. Use the pointers on the memo to figure out the correct password and open the save. The same letter is repeated twice in a row in two different places. The same letter never appears three times or more in a row. The letters A and C appear with the same frequency, which is less than the frequency of letter B. After C, there is uh, always a name. Wait, wait, let me, let me check this. So B is probably the one that's gonna appear twice in a row, right? So... So let's see. Uh, no, wait. BRB guys, let me think this through. Eventually. Oh no wait, wait, I just realized. I think I, I like I think I got the right idea, I just make the wrong execution. Because there's nothing saying that C and A need to be at the ends. It just needs to it just said that there's no letters in a row and B appears more. So maybe it's B B C A B B. I've seen how to solve this now. Puzzles are made for solving. Nice. You did it. The light shines brightly inside the inside and the light the light shines brightly and the safe opens. What could be inside? A very naughty kitty that doesn't that is always rubbing herself on the mic when I'm using it. Nix, don't please. Just a second. Pick up no call, eh? 
Cuidado con Oni. Uh, we need to cut your claws, Nix. Well, Mr. Slowens, I hope that instilled some confidence in you about my abilities. Hmm. Oh golly, what's wrong? He's he is glaring at us. Miss Slayton. I don't understand. She solved the puzzle. Why are you looking so fierce? Cracking stuff, love. That's just what I was expecting. Even better. Oh, I, I think that was his please look. <laughs> Remind me never to look good to look when he's upset. Thank you. So you tell us any tales of the case now? Of course, gladly. The mystery of the missing hundred million. It's up to you to solve it. To solve it now. I'll do my very best to confine this mystery to history, Mr. Slowens. Oh, just look how thick and heavy this door is. The vault door can only be unlocked by entering the correct passcode. And the only three people who know that code are Mr. Zolins himself, Miss Teller, who you met before, and the manager of this branch, and Mr. Shin Plasters, who is now in the hospital, of course. So in other words, no one can open this vault apart from those three people, I see. When the security guard noticed there was a problem this morning, found the vault door open already, and the branch manager was out cold on the floor. So presumably, he was the one who opened the vault then. So that's the only explanation we've been able to come up with so far, yeah. We had a good look at the vault door, but there are no signs of being forced or jammed in any way. A great big door like this would be impossible to force open, surely. Exactly. So either Shin Plasters was coerced into opening the vault, or the criminal slipped in after and opened it for himself. There are the only two possible explanations as far as I can tell, right? Hmm, yes. To be fair, it's not as if he's wrong. Those, those, those two seem to be the most plausible ones. So, oh. and there's a new puzzle. Oh, I was expecting a puzzle to jump out of that, out at, at me for out from somewhere like that. No, who could have hidden a puzzle here? He must have been a bank manager, the bank manager, I suppose. Possibly. We can't find that out, really, but what we can find out is how to solve it. <laughs> Piped numbers. I was saying, this is like the pipe, the pipe one we had where we need to choose two to make all the water flow? Apparently not. These pipes have been joined together to express two two-digit numbers. The upper number is 98. What is the lower number? Okay, so I want to say either 89 or 68 or something like that. Let me... Let me think, because I'm trying to figure out what the heck is actually... Why it's called... Well, the first one is 98. A lot of boring math later. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. I think I... Wait... Yeah, wait, I think I noticed something. The top one is a 9 with a, obviously this little tail, but the one below, it's supposed to be an 8, right? Yeah, so then this one here is probably... 18? No, wait, not 89, sorry. 86, right? Because if that's supposed to be a 9, if inverted, it becomes, well, a 6. This is an interesting one. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Oh, well done, Miss Layton. Well done indeed. You astounded us by finding the puzzle in the first place, and now you've astounded us again by solving it. Haha, <laughs> well, thank you for a glowing praise, Ernest. Now back to the case. Obviously, I always check the lights. Oh, another one? Really? No. That's a... Oh, I just saw the guy. Jesus Christ. I thought it was Inspector Hercule, but no, it's a massive guard. Jesus. I'm trying to see if I can find another coin. Oh. I, can, I hovered over that a few times, but it didn't count, okay. 
Let us talk with you first. It's a very impressive looking vault, Mr. Sloanes. Haha, <laughs> yes, this is a Hermit 5000. Hermetically sealed and totally indestructible. You could fire a shell from a tank in this thing, and the contents would be harm, unhar would be unharmed. Oh, Nix is back. In fact, it's not really enough to call it a vault, the thing's a fortress. Wow, wait, does does he really need to be so tough? I made it myself, lad! Well, one of my companies I own did anyway. Really? You own a company that makes vaults for banks? Let me tell you something, man. It's not just people money that banks vault keeps safe. It's a bank's integrity and its customer's trust. Ooh, that'll be a smashy slogan for, for your new vault. So, as soon as we completed the manufacture of the Hermit 5000, I had it installed here in the bank. I thought we'd give our customers even more peace of mind. That's what I thought. No, Nix, don't. I kinda can't see, baby. I can't believe it's been breached so easily. I misjudged that one, and no mistake. Hmm. So it's the latest model, this vault. That is actually a very good point. If this is supposed to be the latest model, then maybe some, one of the guys who ended up making it knows how to open the vault with or without the code, or like saying, like he could actually reset the code to open it. Because some locks and vault, I'm not sure about vaults, but there are some locks who you can technically reset it to make a new one if you don't remember the original one. Hello, 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 what have we here? Miss Layton and her trusty assistant, Ernest Greaves, I see. Hello, PC Beat. This is an amazing vault, isn't it? Although I imagine opening and closing must be hard work. Aha, I had my I had a self shame self same thought when I saw how thick the door was, but it turns out it's motorized. All you have to do is enter the code and press the button in A presto, it opens automatically. So you don't need to be big and burly to open the vault then, I see. Not at all, Miss Layton. Even you'd be able to open it, if you knew the code. That like, could be a potential clue, because again, if someone just needs to know the code, if someone can reset that code... I almost read that out loud for... for out of habit. What does this big guard have to say? I understand you're the first person on the scene, is that right? You're a security guard here, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. I still can't believe it. How could this have happened? That's what you're what you're trying to find out. Could you tell us what you saw this morning, please? Well, it's my job to keep watching the foil of Ari overnight, see? From from when the bank closes one day to the next morning. I was keeping a lookout all night, but I swear I never spotted nothing strange. Then early in the morning, Mr. Shin Plaster showed up as usual. He's a boss, see? And does Mr. Shin Plaster always come in early at work? Yeah, he's always very busy, so he usually tries to get, get in before everyone else. He must have had something to do with the vault, because he went straight through the floor and ran downstairs. Not long after that, I heard him cry out. So I ran down here as quick as I could, and when I got here, the vault door was wide open. Did you look inside the vault at that time? Well, I was worried, see? I thought there might have might been a robber in here or something, there or something. But I thought I should be brave and so I just pepped in quickly. That's when I saw the body flat out flat out on the door. But it was like Miss Shin Plaster. What the? Just a second, guys. Nix is destroying my desk. Uh, wait. But it was like Mr. Shin Plaster, wasn't it? Now, Nix, what the heck are you doing? Yeah. Don't mess with this baby. Oh god. <coughs> it was, yeah, and there was no one else about at all, not in the vault or out of it. What did you do next? I dialed 999 straight away, of course, and then I called Miss Teller. She's a general manager. Wait, is that 999 the police number for Britain, for Britain or Scotland Yard? Now, let me check that. Yeah, hold on a second, guys. Uh, uh, police number 
London. No, okay, so they made their own apps. Makes sense, I suppose. Uh, or maybe it's not? A few moments later. Yeah, no, I think it is. I, maybe it is, maybe it is, and I'm not 100% sure because it's giving me a lot of numbers here. Okay. You're supposed to call a general manager if there's anything not right, see? When she showed up and saw the vault, she nearly had a heart attack. One hit 100 million quid gone. So it was Miss Teller who first realized how much was missing. Yeah, it's not my business knowing how much it's stashed in the vault, see? Then the boys in blue showed up, the ambulance, the ambulances, it was like a carnival around here, and that's all I can tell you. And is it right that Mr. Shieldpasser still has a regain consciousness? That's what I was told, yeah. He broke both his legs as well, but he said it wasn't life-threatening. Jesus Christ! What the heck happened to break both his legs? There's a good chance you saw the culprit, though. What a dreadful shame we can't get a statement from him. Yeah, that's frustrating. Still, we must push on with the investigation as best as we can. After everything we've been, so, been told so far, this does seem like a rather strange case. Sorry, doesn't it? There's no trace of a robbery at all, not a single scrap of evidence. That's exactly the problem we're facing in our investigation, Sunshine. Well, before we give up hope, let's just take a look around inside the vault. That would be alright, wouldn't you, Mr. Sloanes? Of course, I gave you the guided tour. Okay, it makes perfect sense for you to look inside the vault if nothing seems to be popping from outside. So this is what inside the of a vault looks like. It's enormous, isn't it? And so shiny. The entire thing is made of metal. That's for security. The walls are just as thick as a door and made of heavy metal plate. How could anyone manage to steal anything from such an impenetrable box? The answers are locked within, Ernest. That's why we need to investigate. Oh, look, miss. Gold bullion bars, and so many of them. Yeah, that's what I expect to see inside a large bank vault, really. Hmm? What is it? Have you spotted something, cat? How long has this boy been in, the, been in the vault, Inspector? Do you know? They told me it's been sitting here for about a month now. In other words, the thief or thieves who stole that 100 million pounds would have also seen this gold, wouldn't they? Yeah, that's true, but Miss Teller informed me that, they, that every bar is accounted for. No gold was taken. Why, though? What thief wouldn't be dazzled by all these gold bars? Mind you, you're right, Ernest, but there's also the fact that how the hell would you carry all that? Yeah, that's a bit odd, come to mention. I've had to add it away, and I've, I'd have it, and we, I can I'd have at it away. I've had, ah, I just, I think it's saying he's would take it, no mistake. I, I mean, not that that's have to ever cross my mind, ever. I was just speaking hypothetically, right? I think he, even your struggle to make up with this, with much of this gold, Inspector, is extremely heavy. It's not something you'd want to try to move in a hurry. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. You would have resolved whoever it was down. It was down for sure. Too much. I'm sorry. So you'd think that way the gold was left in touch, and only the reddies got a, reddies got taken away. Do you? They have so many things for money. It's only a theory, but yes, we won't know for sure until we've investigated more thoroughly. Oh, thanks. I wonder if it's gonna be one of those, like, yeah, like 10, co 10 of these coins in every single one. Like every single chapter, so to speak.
Yep, I thought it was gonna be something. Mm -hmm. Wait, there's... Oh, it's a toy! Okay. That's a first. I don't think I've ever seen a, a hit coin being so close to... Oh, there's something here. Oh, a puzzle! Yeah, from what I can see, right now, a lot of the puzzles here are... You're finding them out. You're finding them around the map. Golly, in the... Oh, sorry. Oh, there's a puzzle, Golly, in the vault. Do you think it's a particularly valuable puzzle, miss? Haha, <laughs> a puzzle value lies in how interesting it is to the person solving it. Let's find out what this one's worth, shall we? Number lineup. There are some pieces of paper hanging up with numbers, and one of them is missing. Which number do you think is written on the missing piece of paper? 9101111, I don't know what, one, three. Here, let me try, I want to say it's two. Let's see if my logic is right here. I've seen how to solve this now. Puzzles are made for solving. Hey, it worked! You did it, the numbers are lying up in order. Yeah. I kind of had a feeling that was... Not a feeling, but I thought it felt odd, because all of them were ones. Because it seemed like way too many ones, and the zero and the three stood out way too much for me. That and the fact that it was just a single nine there instead of a one nine. So I thought something was odd. So I saw one, one, then blank, then three, so maybe it's a numerical order? And I was right. Well, with Polo that interesting to simulate my mind, I could seem to be I could seem to be a hermit, I think. Are there any more of them in here? Hey, they don't have want your paw prints over this nice shiny metal. Stop touching everything. <laughs> Sure, kind of have you. Kind of is right there. I say, what an incredibly large fan! That lad is the heart of the Hermit's 5000 ventilation system. The air temperature and humidity are kept constant at all times. But why do you need air conditioning in a vault? People only come in for a very short period of time, surely. We don't just keep cash in our bank vaults, you see. We store expensive jewelry and works of art for our customers too. Things like that can be ruined by even the slightest variation in temperature or humidity. The Hermit 5000 is just as strong as a Nox. It's as gentle as a lamb to the things inside it as well. Oh, I see! Yes, rather like the air conditioning that uses in museums and art galleries, of course. That's the idea, lad, yes. Although I have to confess, the fence has been on the blink of a bit recently, so you'd have to turn it off. Obviously it doesn't affect the security of the vault in any way though. I see, so the air inside the vault is measured using the large fin which is connected to the ventilation system. That could be a clue. Because here's, again, like I said, we could actually chip away at a vault, even if it would take forever. But the idea here could be that, oh, maybe some, because the vault was, was faulty here, someone could have come, up, come in here, open the vault through this side, or the other side of the, of, the, of the fan, and get in. Mind you, yes, it's over the top and probably not what happened, but that's kind of the general idea I'm getting here. Inspector Hastings, where is place this position like this when the vault was discovered open this morning? Absolutely. Apart from taking the unconscious Mr. Shin, Shin Plasters away in the ambulance... Oh, I just realized why his name is Shin Plasters, because both his legs are broken and he needs to put plasters. And I'm assuming those probably would cover his shins. Oh, in the ambulance, the scene's exactly as it was found. Apparently the missing money was stacked up on these plates here. The banknotes were inside a case or box or anything like that. Oh, that is actually interesting. Because if they were there, then you could technically vacuum them through the open 
of through the vent with a fan stop or reach out and get it if you wanted to. That is actually interesting. Nope, not according to Miss Taylor's statement anyway. All those notes would have been rather heavy, wouldn't they? One person alone couldn't have taken them all, surely. Perhaps we're looking for a group of robbers? And that's a fair point, Sunshine. Bank eyes are often carried out by more than one person. There's a good chance you're right. Ah, hello, DC Booker. So you're working this case, are you? Could you tell us what you found out, Constable? Of course. Well, I've interviewed a number of key people and... Uh... Ah, yes, here it is. Apparently there were works of art and very expensive pieces of jewelry in the vault here as well as the gold. However, the thief or thieves only took banknotes to the vault to the value of um, oh ah, yes, 100 million sterling. So everything else was untouched. It is peculiar that. Perhaps whoever it was just couldn't be bothered to get through all the drawers. There are a lot of them. Don't assume the criminal was as born idle as you, cat. Perhaps it was just a matter of having enough time to take anything other than the banknotes. Hmm. Pinstripes could have a point there, though. Well, according to what it says here, works of art are things that things can be hard to sell on without leaving a trail. Hmm, yes, that could be why only the cash was taken. Apart from that. It just says here that I need it and that I need to carry on investigating inside the vault, so the vault, so. Well, your vault is, is a very bit of impressive inside the vault, so, so right? Well, that's kind of it to say, so less. The Hermit 5000 is a proud achievement for our company, I must admit. Or I should say, it was. The fact that his security has been breached like this is a flimsy embarrassment, to be frank. And as for the 100 million, I won't beat around the bush. This could be, this could very well be the end of Lehman Reserve Bank. So you've got to find out whoever did this and bring this come back to justice. Ah! I'll do my very best to solve the case for you, Mrs. Loy Mr. Slowanes. Please rest assured. Ah, sorry about that. I got a bit hot under the collar. Yikes! If that's hot under the collar. I certainly don't want to see him angry. I assume hot on the car means something similar to getting worked up. Oh golly, is is this a chalk outline of Shin Placer, the branch ma the branch manager? Yep, this is where he was found this morning. It looks like it, like he hit his head when he fell onto the floor and knocked himself out. So they took him off in an ambulance, like I said. I had the lads mark out where he was found, just in case it turned out to be important. It rather makes it look like a murder scene, doesn't it? Brr. Luckily, I don't think there's a chance of that. They say his injuries aren't life-threatening. But he hasn't regained conscious yet, has he? Nope. The bloke's been away with his fairies, with the fairies ever since he discovered. Which is a, is right in the terms of my investigation. If you could just ask him what he what he saw. We'd be in a much better position. Hmm. I think we've seen enough in here for now. Oh, Miss Layton, have you worked out who did it already? No, I couldn't say just yet. We need to do a more, a more, little more investigation work first. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid I've got a few bits of matters to see too, so I have to leave you to it. If that's all right. Absolutely. You can leave this in our hands, Mr. Slaines. Thank you, Miss Layton, and good luck. Right then, ta-ta for now! Jesus disappeared, Jesus! He has instant transmission, oh my god! With this bank 100 million down, I'd say it's good. We've got more than a few billion matters to attend to. So then, Cat, as a result of our investigation so far, here's my theory on what must have happened. You... You have a theory, Inspector? Why do you look so surprised for? I'm a detective, Inspector Cat. What I reckon is, the thief, or thieves, must have snuck into the bank sometime last night. Then, then he or she or they waited for the branch manager to come in in the morning, where he or she or they forced him to enter the security code. Now, he or she or they only nicked the 
catch because it's, it was the first thing you're sure they saw. Uh, I'm not gonna read that. And he or uh, and the robbers didn't bother with the gold because it was would have slowed them down or down too much during the gateway. Get away. In the end, uh, they the, the robbers bosh Shin's plaster over the head and made a run for it. But what do you reckon? I think I've nailed it. Mm, he or she or they could have done that. But is that really what happened though? What, you think I'm out on the mark, do you? Well, the security guard was on fire from the, from the close of business yesterday right through until this morning. But he claims that he there was nothing unusual in all that time, doesn't he? Well, yeah, but... Not to mention the fact that immediately after the incident this morning, he says he didn't see anyone other than Mr. Shitplaster. So apart from being low, long wide and being long-winded, your theory also fails to explain how he or she or they got in and got out of the bank of notice. Ah, I, I suppose you got a point there. Back to the drawing board then. What a shame. The bank will be in terrible trouble if you don't solve it soon. A theft of 100 million pounds is going to be a headline news all over the capital. Well, that's why it's also a shush. The press can't get all of it. So, I mean, is it has been made public yet? No. And Miss Tara has been pretty no noisy about making sure we understand that. No no noisy or nosy? No, I think it's noisy. How it's supposed to be, it's supposed to say. It's bad news for the bank, this. I'll say. If it was not dealt with the proper way, it could mean that they have to close down even. So like I said before, mum's a word, got it? But as an officer of the law, I'm only at liberty to keep this from the public for 24 hours. So we've got to find a do the dough before the end of the day. Just make sure you don't go telling your neighbors about this or anything, alright? As if we'd say a wolf to anyone. That reminds me, I think we need to ask Miss Taylor a few more questions. She had to dash off before, didn't she? Well, she said she'd be off in her office if you need her. Alright then. Should head up there now? You go ahead, I'm gonna stay here and push on with the investigation of the crime scene. That's cool. 